Hello, um, welcome again to another day of classes. Today we're gonna continue with the Interchange 5th edition, uh, the level 1 book, the red book. Uh, we're gonna start today with the uh, unit 5, and as always we're gonna be starting with a language summary or vocabulary for this lesson. This lesson is gonna be quite interesting, so I hope that you like it. Well, to start, we're gonna be talking about family and relatives. What is relatives? Well, the relatives are your family. <laughs> well, you know, the mo your mother is a relative, your father is a relative, your grandfather is a relative, all of the people in your family are relatives. And we're gonna be seeing a structure of how it works, and I hope you don't get lost, okay? Well, first we we'll start with you, okay? You are the son or the daughter of your parents. Your parents are your mother and your father. The sons or daughters of the, your parents are the children and they are your brother or sister if you have and you that can be a brother or sister too, okay? Well, if your brother or sister have children too, they have sons or daughters, then they are your nieces or nephews. Then, it's if they do, the nieces or nephews have uh, children, uh, they are your grandnieces and great nephews, and then great grandnieces and great grand nephews, and then great great grand nieces, great great grand nephews, and it's just adding great one more time for each generation. Okay, you may have an spouse or a husband, depending if you, it's a man or a woman, and if you have children, if you have a son or a daughter, they are your children. If your children have children, they are your grandchildren. It can be your granddaughter or your grandson. And if they, etc., etc., it's always like that. Great grand, then great grand, then great great grand, and so on and so on. Okay? Well, let's see this part then. Well, you know, your parents have parents too. too. So the parents of your parents are your grandparents, and the parents of the parents of your parents are the great grandparents, and it just follow and follow and follow like that. Parents, grandparents, great grandparents, and so on. Okay. So what? How do you call the brothers or sisters of your parents? Well, it's just aunts if it's a woman, and uncle if it's a man. Okay. And you may have something called cousin or first cousin, that is the son and daughters, the children, of your aunts and uncles, okay? We have a way to call them, the first cousins, and if they have children, in English, they call it first, cousin, first cousins once removed, and then first cousins twice removed, three times removed, four times removed, and etc, 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 okay? Then... If you're when you know your grandparents also have family, so the aunts and un the brother or daughter, uh, the brother or sister of your grandparents are called grand aunts and grand uncles. It's they, it's like they are the same level because they are in the same generations. And here we have the the son and daughters of your grand aunts and grand uncles are the first cousins once removed. Then second cousins, one room, once use second cousins, and then it, it starts like that. It's like kind of tricky, but it's not so difficult, and it just go low, go up and up and up. Okay, well now let's see the part of the in-laws. The in-laws are the people that are your family because of a contract when you have an union with another person that is not your blood is not part of your family like a, a part of your uh, ascendancy basically okay so it's talking about your spouse or husband's family for example the father a mother of your spouse or a husband is used the father your father-in-law or mother-in-law the same with the brother and sister brother-in-law sister-in-law then the same exactly the same structure but with in-law Uncle-in-law, aunt-in-law, first cousin-in-law, second cousin-in-law, grand grandparents-in-law, great grandparents-in-law, great grand aunts and uncles-in-law, etc. It's used in-laws. Okay, very good. You can uh, look for more of this information on the internet if it's uh, still a bit confusing for you, but we saw it a bit. Let's continue. We have some other words. 
we have the age that is the amount of year that of years that a person has been in alive we have attention attention is like when you look at something you pay you only looking at something you're not uh, looking at different things at the same time it's just one thing okay then we have barbecue a barbecue is grilled food basically when you usually eat meat the family tree this is like a family tree because well it's had different person in your family your uncle aunt cousin brother sister mom dad granddad grandpa, uh, grandfather etc but a family tree is basically a tree with all of your people in your family okay very good we have a couple that is when a man and a woman have a relationship we have effort that is when you do something like maybe difficult for you but you still do it even if it's difficult you're giving your effort for example you're giving your effort when you are studying english even though it's hard okay facts a fact a fact is something that is true or true it's scientifically proven is true yes or yes that is a fact and the opposite of fact is a myth okay a foreign language a foreign language is a language that is not from your country maybe if your mother language is Spanish then a foreign language can be English uh, German Swedish Japanese uh, or any other housework or also known as chores is the work that we do in, in our house housework work in the house an only child is when you are the only uh, descendant the only children from the from your parents basically if you don't have brother of sis or sisters you're an only child okay medical aid that is uh, organization an organization is basically a, a, a union of different people that work with the same goal in this case we can have a medical aid organization that is uh, working towards getting a lot of or proper medical care for everybody a percent this symbol is known as percent population that is the amount of people inside of a country here in the Dominican Republic we are um, 11 million people that is the population of the Dominican Republic um, 11 million a birthday present is a gift or a present in your birthday okay let's now continue with the unit with the name of the unit is what an interesting family and it's gonna be talking about what we talk a couple of minutes back about the family tree and well let's start with this here we have a word power of the different names of the family and I want you to take the time to um, complete this on your own using the words cousin, daughter, father, grandmother, niece, sister-in-law, uncle and wife what is the word for each one of them. You have James and Betty that are the old one, Robert and Patricia that is, well, Patricia is your mother, you know that, but well, it would be Robert. We have Deborah and Arturo, Joseph, Keiko, and Andrew, Emily, Joshua, Nicole, Veronica, Lisa, and Ethan. You're gonna be writing the correct one for each one of them. When you finish, you can, we, let's, we continue. Okay, you finish? Let's see. Well, we know that James is the grandfather and Betty is, it's the grandmother, very good, okay? Robert is the father and Patricia is the mother. Deborah is aunt, the aunt, and Arturo is an uncle, as we said before. Joseph, the husband, and Keiko is his wife. Joshua, it's a brother-in-law, brother. And the brother of Joseph, you see here that Joseph and Joshua are brothers. And Nicole, since, since she's not the sister of blood, uh, it's not the daughter of the father of the mother, it's a sister in law. Okay? Very good. And the daughter of your uncle and aunt is your cousin, that is Veronica. Very good. And then Andrew and Emily are your children. So Andrew is your son and Emily is your daughter. Okay? Joshua and Nicole, they have children too. Alisa is your niece and Ethan is your nephew. Okay, very good. I hope that you understand that and you also look for yourself or for 
some names and specific ways to understand what the family tree. But now let's do a practice about this. Here we have some famous people that are relative to other famous people. You need to listen to the audio and then identify what is the basically the relativeness of one person to the other. What is Qu Quincy Jones from Rashida Jones? What is Aston Kutcher from Mila Kunis? What is Emma Roberts from Julia Roberts? And what is Cameron Diaz to Nicole Richie? The relative, uh, the relative to each other, but how? Okay, so listen and then get the answers. Unit 5. What an interesting family. Page 31. Exercise 2. Listening. Famous relatives. Listen to four conversations about famous people. How is the second person related to the first person? 1. Who's that guy? That's Quincy Jones. He's famous for his work in the music business. And he's a great musician himself. That's strange. I don't think I've seen him before. Well, I know you've seen his daughter. Is her last name Jones, too? Yes, it is. Her name's Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones? Oh, I love her. She was in my favorite TV show. 2. What are you reading, Brianna? An article about Ashton Kutcher. He's in a new TV show. That's good news. I really liked his last show. Do you know who he married in 2015? Hmm. Demi Moore? No. Mila Kunis. I didn't know that. What a cool couple. 3. What are you watching, Samantha? Oh, hi, Mom. I'm watching a new movie with Emma Roberts. Oh, yes, Emma Roberts. I thought her aunt was great in Notting Hill. Who's her aunt? Julia Roberts. She's such a great actress. I've never heard of her. What's Notting Hill? It's a movie from the 90s. You should watch it. It's great. The 90s? That's kind of old. But I'll watch it. If I can find it. 4. What website is that? It's called Star Watcher. It has all kinds of news about famous people. Look at this picture. Oh, cool. That's Cameron Diaz. I love her. But who's that with her? That's Nicole Richie, the fashion designer. Oh, yeah, I know her. But I didn't know they were friends. Actually, they're more than just friends. Cameron married the musician, Benji Madden, and Nicole married Joel Madden, Benji's brother. So they're sisters-in-law. I didn't know that. I need to follow celebrity news more often. Okay, that was really interesting. You got all the relativeness? Okay, let, let, let's check. Well, Kinsey Johns, Rashida Jones is Quincy Jones' daughter. Mila Kunis is Aston Kutcher's wife. Julia Roberts is Emma Roberts' aunt. You would have thought that is the mother, but no, it's not. It's just her aunt. And Nicole Richie and Cameron Diaz are sisters-in-laws. Okay, that was really interesting. Let's continue. Okay, now we will have we will listen to a conversation, uh, part A and part B, and try to get the answer for the last part. Where do Matt's parents live, and what do his parents do? Okay, let's pay attention to this. Page 31. Exercise 3. Conversation. He's traveling in Thailand. Part A. Listen and practice. Do you have brothers and sisters, Tina? Yes. I have a brother and a sister. Oh, what does your sister do? She's a surgeon. She works for a medical aid organization. Wow! And what about your brother? He's a writer. He travels and writes about his experiences for a magazine. What an interesting family! 
Can I meet them? Sure, but my sister is not here right now. She's treating patients in Cameroon. And your brother? He's traveling in Thailand, and then he wants to visit my sister. I miss them. Page 31. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Max's parents live? What do his parents do? So what about your parents, Max? Where do they live? They live in California. Oh, where in California? In Sausalito. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at a university in San Francisco, and my father has a bookstore. Okay, very good. Now, let's check the answers if you got it. Okay, well, the par Ma Matt's parents live in Sal Salito, in California, and Matt's mother teaches at the university, at, at a university in San Francisco, and his father uh, has a bookstore. Very good. Now let's go to a part of the pronunciation, and it's the correct intonation in statements. You need to listen, and notice that the statements usually have falling intonation. Every time that you state something, you say a sentence, a sentence, they usually have like a falling intonation. It goes up, down. Okay, let's pre let's pay attention to that. Page thirty, page page thirty one in statements, part A. Listen and practice. Notice that statements usually have falling intonation. She's working in Cameroon. He's traveling in Thailand. You see? She's working in Cameroon. He's traveling in Thailand. I like pizza. Today I have a great day. All of those sense statements have falling intonation. I like cats more than dogs. Always goes like up, down. I think you're really interesting. You see? It's not like, I think you're really interesting, or she's working in Cameroon. No, it's not like that. It's, she's working in Cameroon. I think you're really interesting. Okay? I hope that you noticed that pronunciation. Okay, now let's go to the grammar focus part of today. It's the last part of the day, and it's going to be something quite e easy, actually. It's the present continuous. Both uh, yes-no questions, WH questions, yes uh, statements, and short answers and long answers basically okay for the present continuous we usually use it when we're talking about an action that is occurring right now something that is happening in the moment and it's continuing to happen it's not stopped yet okay for example let's see well let's start with the part of the, uh, the statements he is or his traveling in Thailand he didn't stop he is doing that right now they are studying for their their exams. He is watching TV. He is doing this. He is doing that. All of these uh, statements are present continuous. And how do we make the present continuous? It's just a norm, normal sentence, but we add ing to the verb, and that's how we make it continuous. Instead of travel, is traveling. Instead of study, is studying. Instead of work, is working. Instead of do, is doing and so on and so forth, okay? Uh, but how do we make the yes-no questions? The yes-no questions is the exact same way that you will make a yes-no question. You start with are or is, depending on if it's singular or plural, and then when you put the verb, it's just ing, and that's it. Are you living at home now? The sh short answers can be yes, I am, because of you, and no, I'm not. Is your sister working in another city? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Or no, she isn't. Are your parents studying English this year? Yes, they are. No, they are not. No, they aren't. There's two ways to say the negative one. And this is quite easy, actually. How do we make uh, the WH questions then? It's the well, for a uh, easy structure, we start with the WH word, what, where, when, why, who, or any other WH word, then the verb be, then the pronoun, it's like 
here there's just no question are you is he etc is she it's whatever and then the verb with ing and then a comment if you want where are you working now i'm not working i need a job right now he's not working and here we have some simple present that is used and a statement is not something that is happening now okay what is your brother doing he's traveling in trial in thailand right now they are asking for what he's do doing right now and this is that right now he is traveling what are your friends doing these days they are studying for their exams i hope they understand this part and to practice this we're gonna be looking at these conversations um, and you're gonna be completing with the correct verb in continuous basically it's usually remember that for the verbs you put ing to the word and the other parts is just the normal grammar stuff that you should have known okay so take your time to complete this and then we check okay you finished now let's check well for the first part we have like hi Brittany what are you doing Hey, Zach, I'm eating a sandwich at O'Connor's. Mmm, is it good? Yeah, it's delicious. Wait, they're bringing my dessert now. It's chocolate cake with ice cream. Call you later. Bye. And the second part we have. So, Madison, how are you and your sister doing in college? We're having a lot of fun, Mom. Fun? Okay, but is your sister going to class every morning? Yeah, mom. She's working hard and I am too. I'm too serious. I'm serious. Okay, very good. I hope that you like this class and next time we're going to continue with the rest of the unit. So I hope you get to know that and it's interesting for you. Okay, see you next time.